hello everyone so today we're back off to the convent we're still at home at the moment but i uh, thought i'd quickly show you something so in this little package is an old hi8 tape so they used to be what we used to put in the camera recorders they're like a, a video tape but smaller and we don't have the old camera recorder that used to put them in and on this tape hopefully is uh, some sort of filming with me on my old horse tiffany which is um queenie's grandmother so i have found a company in the uk that if you send this to them they will change the tape to either onto a usb stick or a computer file so fingers crossed it's uh hasn't been taped over and uh yeah we might be able to see some good footage of me in my younger days but yeah so this is off to cheshire <laughs> so i'm going to pop to the post office before we get to the convent and yeah so we're just going to get cracking today already it's like one o'clock in the afternoon already but before I can do anything with my day, the horses have to be sorted out. Um, and that means mucking out three stables and getting the horses all ready. So yeah, I've already had a busy day, but yeah, we're gonna get to the convent now and get some work done. And yeah, we'll see you there. We'll see you at the convent. So I thought I'd show you as well before I get in the car, the grass. So we've had tons of rain recently and the grass has revived itself and there's the girls there in the field they're enjoying their day out it has been raining today but not very much so and they'd much prefer to be out in the rain than stuck in their stable so if we've got time later after i've gotten back from the convent i shall uh, get the horses in and uh, show you them they're all fine loving life <laughs>
Right, so we've done lots of painting and uh, Mo's taken off the blinds off the windows because they need painting and plus they're in the way for us to paint this area here and obviously cutting in along the side and we need to get in here and strip the wallpaper off and it's just difficult with the blinds on. So that's the windows without the blinds. It actually lets a ton more light in because <laughs> they are big. But yeah, so we need to cut in here. We need to paint this the color of the windows and we need to remove this wallpaper here um, because it, as you can see, it's been damp and stuff. So it's no good leaving it and just painting it. We need to get rid of it. And so, We've uh, painted up until this area here. It's had one coat so far and uh, you know, yourself, it looks a lot darker when it's wet and it still needs another coat. As you can see, this like patchy, but it will look like that afterwards. I've done my best cutting in. I've gone round, um, and had a good go at it. It's not perfect, but it looks good. And potentially there will be some coving up there anyway. I'm not sure yet, but if not, it still is okay. So yeah, there's the blinds. They are literally the exact same height as the ceiling to the floor, those blinds. <laughs> they are huge, but we need to um, get them all painted and stuff before we put them back up. But yeah, I can't believe how much bigger the windows look. Let's go back without the blinds. They look humongous. And I've got to say, guys, it is much brighter without them. But we need them because they look great.